Beth and I met over 25 years ago when we were just wee little gymnasts together. Um, and my earliest memories of little elementary school Beth were that she was a loud little girl with perpetually filthy feet, mismatched socks, and crazy hair. So she really hasn't changed like a bit. She's an above and beyond kind of friend. Uh, she's the friend that shows up to all your life events. She's the most incredible and thoughtful gift giver I've ever known, which is a reflection of how much she pays attention to her friends' lives and how much she listens to the details. We see it now The story comes together Beauty lives in every chapter Beth is the most Beth is the most exceptional sister a younger brother could ask for. She's a shoulder to lean on and an ear to talk to, and she's the most trusted person on the planet that's even with a microphone in her hand. Perhaps above all else, when she trusts you, she will have your back forever. That's one way that I know that these two will be unstoppable. I love your ability to recall the smallest things, even though that can backfire on me sometimes. I love your thoughtfulness. I love your passion for all things, including your career and chasing your dreams. I love your vision, ambition, and drive. I love you for no reason at all. I just love you. I promise to always root for you, cheer you on, and be your biggest fan. I promise to show you appreciation for everything that you do for me, which has been a lot over this past year and a half since you've become my coworker. <laughs> I promise to chase your dreams alongside you. I promise to love you and always be by your side through all the ups and downs. I love you. I appreciate you for taking on so much more than you ever bargained for when you thought you might find the girl. I have a career that is different it requires you to be a little more patient, be a little more forgiving, be a little more trustworthy, and you were there. I promise to give you one hangover day a month <laughs> so that you can lay around and do absolutely nothing. I promise to try to shut the cabinets. I'm gonna try. Granddad taught me that the number one thing you should always promise is that you're going for way more than half. I'm gonna give in 70 to 100% every single day. I promise to support you, comfort you, strengthen you. I promise to tell you, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Whenever you feel anxious or nervous, I got you. I promise to make sure that when we have a whole home full of people that is full of compassion, respect, anybody who comes into our house is going to be loved and not judged. I love you. We're doing it. by the power vested in me by you two. It is with overwhelming joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Justin, you may not kiss your bride. Thank you to everybody for coming. I'm gonna get emotional because I know a lot of people came from a lot of different places and I know that we're in the middle of the woods and that's weird. <laughs> My whole dream was to have everybody here, um, as many people as we could. <laughs> we did that. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, now, in speaking with some people who know JB the best, a general description that evolved was that he is a golf-loving, lotto-playing, sarcastic fellow with a perfect hairline who giggles in awkward situations. But what I really kept hearing was just how kind JB is. When I asked Beth to tell me one thing that she loves the most about you, it's, it's how you have such a giving heart, such a desire to help people. And Beth, when I asked JB the same question, he echoed the same. He said he loves how caring you are and how you love to do special things for other people. Here we go. Justin, you've been one of my best friends. You've been a great uncle to all your nieces and nephews. And you're gonna make a wonderful husband. And now, on our own with our hope in the clouds We're starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming now Here we go